Here, about 150,000 Americans are diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and more than 50,000 of them will die from that disease. And while age is, of course, a very key factor, it's not always the case. Here's today's HealthCast. Tammy Hirsch's dad was diagnosed with colon cancer two years ago. Before he died from the disease, he urged her to get screened. So within a few months, um, I did get my colonoscopy at Cleveland Clinic, and I woke up to, you have rectal cancer, and I told the doctor, you have the wrong patient. This can't be possible. Dr. Dana Sands with Cleveland Clinic Weston says excluding skin cancer, colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosed in both men and women in the United States. I think a lot of people think that colon cancer is a disease that only affects men. Mm -hmm. And I think that a lot of people think that colon cancer is a disease that only affects the elderly. The rate of people being diagnosed with colon or rectal cancer each year has dropped overall since the mid-1980s, mainly because more people are getting screened and changing their lifestyle-related risk factors. But this downward trend is mostly in older people. In people younger than 55, rates have been increasing by 1 to 2 percent every year since the mid-1990s. With the growing number of colon cancers in young people, oftentimes if somebody comes with a symptom like rectal bleeding, everybody will say, oh, don't worry about that, it's just your hemorrhoids. And they attribute the bleeding symptoms to their hemorrhoids, but in reality, it can be something much more sinister. Although her cancer did metastasize to her lungs, Tammy believes early diagnosis and treatment have helped her return to a normal life. I'm basically um, pretty much to where I was at from while this began. I have been out of chemo for about seven months now. My past two scans are been clear. I'm basically cancer free today and I'm able to see my 50th birthday this year because of the great hands that I was in with Dr. Sands in Cleveland Clinic. And a great big happy birthday. Overall, the lifetime risk of developing colorectal cancer is about 1 in 23 for men and 1 in 25 for women. However, each person's risk might be a little higher or lower than that depending on their risk factors for colorectal cancer itself.